Meanwhile, in Spain, they've got a week off. New Year's Eve will see the start of the next round of matches. This, of course, is how things stand. Real Madrid uh, eight points clear at the top of the table of Sevilla. Uh, and you look at Sevilla, the big story, of course, surrounding them at the moment is that they've been linked to Anthony Martial from Manchester United. And it is goal scorers that they're in desperate need for. They made it into second, but they have been struggling to hit the back of the net. Rafa Mir, their top scorer, uh, with just seven goals this season. How close is this? Martial deal, Jules? I think it's interesting because Dave Monchi clearly knows him well from even his time a long, long time ago at Lyon, even before going to Monaco. I think he's been following him for many, many years now. And this is typically the kind of signing that Sevilla and Monchi are good at, aren't they? Just relaunching the career of someone who's clearly very, very talented, who's had some really good moments at United, some really more difficult ones for different reasons. And I think in Sevilla, they think like he's definitely worth a gamble. You said Rafa Mir hasn't, has had some good games, but not really consistency enough. And Niziri is nowhere near the form that he had last season. Uh, De Jong, the bad De Jong is still on loan at Barcelona on his way probably to Cadiz. So this is, they need someone clearly. And I think, I think Martial, if, if Lopetegui can, can bring him back to his best, I think could be really good for them. Can he bring him back to his best, though, Jules? Is Martial committed enough to get back to his best? I think so. I think he wants to. He's wasted some time and he knows it. He knows it every time. And we had so many arguments on, on this show, um, me and Stevie, for example, on where does he stand? Is he, is he that kind of player that we saw a couple of seasons ago who can, can score 25 goals a season? Or is he the one that we see now who's nonchalant, too nonchalant, who, who misses easy passes, easy chances, who, who clearly has talent but not making the most of it. I, th I think the answer may be in, in between, but certainly I think in a league like Spain, I think La Liga is, is definitely suited for him. And I think the West Sevilla play with Lopetegui, he can relaunch his career. There's a World Cup coming up very soon for France right now. I'm not sure he will be in the squad. And I think this is also in the back of his money. He knows too well that staying at United is not good for him because he will miss out on that World Cup. He needs to go somewhere else and play and try to recover that best form that we saw at times at United and I think I think that he's really willing to do that maybe more than what he's shown in the last few months at United. Worth the risk for Sevilla Stevie? Absolutely worth the risk uh, and I think it's it's the best thing that will happen to Anthony Martial as well. I, th I think part of his problem at United for me is that when he's up against it and he's and he's not the focus of everybody's attention, then it appears he doesn't have that sort of you know what I'm going to show them type of attitude. Right. It seems like it's well, it's not, it's unfair. You know why am I not the star? Why am I not getting the praise? Why am I not getting the game? Why am I not this? It kind of feels like a lot of the time it's been somebody else's fault. I think him going to Sevilla will mean he's important. Right. And I think he's a guy that thrives on being the important guy in the team or one of them. And I think it is the time, 100%. And it's a good move to a team that will create and who are doing well. This is perfect for Anthony Martial. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+.